Aloha and welcome to video number three in the build series for the bike camper called Imua. And as I've told you before, Imua in Hawaiian means to move forward. And that's exactly what this trailer is going to help somebody do. So in this episode, we are going to fiberglass and reinforce the parts of the PVC frame where the wheels are going to attach to. And as you can see, we've already flattened out the part where we're going to drill out and then we'll be bolting these cartwheels right onto that area. But because there is going to be some extra stress and load put on that part, we're going to go ahead and fiberglass it over with some chopped strand. And that's just going to help to provide some reinforcement and make sure that this doesn't break right away. For this part of the fiberglass thing, I'm using what's called chop strand. And this is a type of fiberglass cloth that is a bunch of fiberglass fibers that are chopped into uh, about maybe a three inch length or so. And then they're all woven into a little fabric where the fibers point in every which way, all the different directions. So there's always a fiber pointed in the direction that force is going to be applied to. And then of course the resin um, works with the fibers to create a composite material. And that is essentially one plus one equals four. You get a really, really strong material when you combine the resin and the fibers together. Kind of like using manure and straw to build houses, you know, many, many hundreds, if not thousands of years ago, that was the technology. Today, we use rebar and cement and other things for composites. So fiberglass is a composite, fibers and a resin. One of the nice things about using chopped strand is that you can be a bit casual with material. I've got a piece of it sitting nearby and I just periodically reach over and tear off another strip, roughly the size that I'm gonna need and I just overlap it, make sure that my roller is nice and wet and just go at it. Working with fiberglass is kind of like working with paper mache. There's a lot of leeway with the material and basically you're just laying it down in layers. So with paper mache, you've got newspaper and then a watered down glue and you're just laying on the layers of the newspaper and putting on some more gluey water and getting it all to come together. In the case with fiberglass, of course, it's gonna harden a lot better than paper mache will and that's why we're using it. Putting fiberglass on a round structure like this is a little bit tricky, but just take your time, make sure you wet it and keep rolling it on and it will bend and adhere to the surface. With a chopped strand, it is encased in a little bit of uh, styrene, kind of like your styrofoam. And so when you put the resin on it, it actually dissolves that styrene and that's how fiberglass turns clear. So initially your cloth is gonna be a little bit stiff, but as that styrene dissolves, the cloth becomes much more flexible and wet and that's how you're able to get it to curve and adhere to material like in this case pvc pipe so don't be afraid give it a try So as you can see, I'm adding the fiberglass in sequences here. First, I did a couple of strips on the right side. Then I do some that overlaps in the middle and then another one on the left side. In this way, we build up the fiberglass in a couple of different layers. We get the layers to overlap with each other. And I'm working with pieces that are more manageable. If I had an entire piece that covered the, the whole thing at once, I could do it, but it's just a little bit easier to do it in pieces like this. And again, chop strand is such a nice material to work with because you can easily overlap it and layer it and gosh, if an area needs a little more, just tear some off and put it on.
Now that I've got the whole thing pretty well wrapped, I want to go ahead and add a little bit more material into the center area. This is where we're going to be drilling a hole and attaching the wheel. So if there's anywhere on the bicycle that's going to be getting a lot of routine stress, it's this one area. And that's really the whole point of this little fiberglassing is to make sure that this part of the frame, the part that supports the axle for the wheels, is just extra strong and is not going to fracture there due to stress and use over time. And now we'll just flip the frame over and do the same thing to the other side. So just like with the first side, we go ahead and wet the surface first. This helps the chopped strand material to adhere to the surface better. You want to make sure that it gets wet on all sides with the resin. And again, I've got a larger piece of fiberglass material sitting to the side and I'm just reaching over and tearing off little strips that are about, oh, maybe four inches wide and however long the material is, maybe about a foot or so, and then just put it on and start rolling it down with some resin. With laminating fiberglass resin, I found using these rollers is a lot easier than trying to use a little stippling brush or some other kind of a scraping tool. The roller gets nice and wet with the material. It helps to naturally purge out any excess resin so that it's not too wet. And it's really good for hitting a lot of uneven surfaces. So if you've been using a brush for doing your fiberglass work and you've never tried one of these rollers, hey, it's cheap enough, give it a try. over and under with the material. Really important to make sure that you're gonna get some fiberglass on all sides here. The point is to reinforce this joint. So just like when you use uh, foam to make a fiberglass sandwich for doing boat building, in this case, the PVC pipe is the interior of our sandwich. So by layering it with fiberglass, it's kind of like one plus one equals three. You're creating a really strong material and yet it's still gonna be lightweight and relatively inexpensive. 
Keep in mind, I'm doing this instead of using Coroplast because I'm on the island of Kauai where we just can't get materials like that. And now that we've got the whole area glassed over, we go ahead and add another couple layers of chop strand right onto that middle section where all of the extra stress is going to be. So again, what we're doing here is we're going to be drilling holes through that area and then using that to mount the axle and the wheel for each side of the trailer. And the wheels that I've gotten are some solid polyurethane wheels uh, with bank rims. So there's nothing to get a hole and go flat, and there's no rim to uh, have any spokes break. So hopefully this will be a very durable solution and should last for a long time.
All right, we're all good here. So now it's time to let it harden.